In this example, we're going to go ahead and take a look at using Newton's second law of motion, which is F equals MA, where it's relating the amount of force that's applied to an object of a certain mass given by the variable M, and we need to figure out what's the acceleration associated with this. So again, in this situation, we have a mass that's given as 25 kilograms in this situation. We also have a force that's given, and we are told to determine how fast this object will accelerate when it's given that amount of force in a push. So when you have mass and you have a force and you're looking for the acceleration, the equation you wanna use is F equals MA. Since this relates those three different parameters that we're looking for. So again, we have the force, we have the mass, we don't have acceleration and we're looking for that. So the way we go ahead and start doing this problem is by plugging in the numbers that we're dealing with. So the force that we've been given in this example is 193 newtons, and that's going to equal the mass times the acceleration. We know the mass, that is 25 kilograms, and the acceleration is the only unknown. We don't know what this A is, and that's what we're looking for. Now, one thing that can help us simplify the math a little bit more is to check the units and see... Could we ignore them for right now, or do we need to do anything with them and change them, anything like that? So what we do is remember that when we're dealing with Newton's second law, the force has to be given in units of Newtons, which our force is, as we can see here. The mass needs to be given in units of kilograms, which is exactly what we have right here in the original problem. And the acceleration will be given in units of meters per second squared, only if the force is given in newtons and the mass is given in kilograms. So with that in mind, because we have newtons here, kilograms here, which are the exact units we need, we can ignore them and say that whatever number we end up calculating from this math here will give us the units of meters per second squared when we look for the acceleration. So let's go ahead and continue here. We can drop the units for a second and just pretend that we're dealing with 193 and set that equal to 25 times A. And when you're dealing with a variable that's being multiplied by some other number like the 25 out front, divide both sides of your equation by that number so that you can cross that out. And the acceleration A is now 193 divided by 25 which would give us a value of 7.72. So the acceleration is 7.72 meters per second squared, which is great. But one thing we need to realize is that we are limited to the number of significant figures that we can use in representing our final answer, and that comes down to the significant figures that are given to us in the original problem. So in this case, in the mass that's been given, we only have two significant figures, and in the case of the force, we have three significant figures. So now, in order for us to decide, do we round our answer to just two significant figures or is it three significant figures, we always go with the lower number of significant figures that are given in the problem. So that would be two in this case. So when we round our answer, we have to cut it off after the first two digits. And in this case, that would be 7.7 meters per second squared. So looking at our options, we have 1 million kilograms, that's not going to work. We've got 0 0.4 newtons, that's not going to work because those don't even have the right units either. This one's kilograms, this one's newtons. We are looking for something that has meters per second squared. So of the two options here, one says 8 meters per second squared, which would have been okay if we needed to round up to one significant figure. But because we're looking for two significant figures, that's not the correct answer either. And so of our four options, we will go with the last one, since that's what we also calculated.